I still remember one of the most pivotal moments of my life. This one small little moment really changed how I saw myself and changed how I view myself and set me on a downward trajectory. I was in the seventh grade. I don't know how old I was, maybe 11, 12. Seventh grade, right? So, I used to think I was a shit. I don't know why, I think, I just, I just used to think I was a shit. Even though I was a mute motherfucker, I didn't really talk to people. I didn't really accomplish too much. But I just believe all the shit. Like, I walked like it. Like, my walk was impeccable. Like, I just walked like I was that nigga. So one day, I'm walking in the hallway, just being me. And this girl, I remember her vividly. Her name is Tony. She walks up to me, and she says... Why are you walking like that? You are not all that. And at that moment, I felt so much dread, bro. Because as a kid with no guidance, no real validation from my parents no real no real self-esteem it's not doesn't have a foundation it's just fake she came and tore me down in that moment i was like damn i'm not all that i thought i was so in that very moment i started to view myself as not enough less than I started walking different I literally started walking with my hands to my sides and I would not move my hands my arms I would not swing my arms at all I would walk so stiff after that day that day changed my life that's such a small instance a small conversation And after that, my self-worth went down. And then later on that year, I'm walking as this little puny bitch-ass motherfucker, shoulders slumped over, arms not swinging, low self-worth, low self-esteem. And one of my friends Says, hey, Majoris, why you walk like that? Why you walk so stiff? And I was confused, bro, because I'm like, so I just had somebody say something about when I was walking with confidence and talk down to me and dim my light. But on the other hand, when I changed the way I walked, I got somebody else making fun of me again. And I was confused as fuck, bro. I lowered my self-esteem even more. Now, in that moment, I could have just said, man, fuck what all these people think. Because I can't please everybody. But I was too young. I was too I immature. I was too ignorant. To even be able to grasp that concept of what these motherfuckers think don't matter. Because I'm in a world where I got to see these people every day. I got to see these classmates every day. We're most likely going to graduate together. We live in a small place. So I'm trying to please these motherfuckers. I'm trying to look good in their presence. I'm trying to belong to the tribe. So this lowered my self-esteem even more lower 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 
And I tell y'all this story to let y'all know that you should not give a fuck what nobody says. You should not give zero fucks what anybody says. Everybody is going to have different opinions of you. Everybody is going to view you different. You can't please every single person in the world. You can't do it no matter how hard you try. You can't placate to everyone. Quit trying to be the nice guy. Quit searching for people's validation. People's approval. Because it means nothing. The only approval you need is your approval. The creator's approval. What your higher self tells you to do is enough. It's enough, bruh. So, now, now that I'm older and I reflected back on that moment a couple years ago when I was in meditation and it was something that I completely forgot about, but it's something that you got to bring up, like you had to bring the dark to light to raise your consciousness and eradicate these moments and these instances that really shaped your personality and your self image you have you have to remember them so now bro it don't matter what nobody says i don't give a fuck what nobody says about me especially in the past year i just Took it to a whole nother level, bro. I just, I'm just me. Like, I'm not gonna smile in your face if I don't like you. I'm not gonna laugh at your jokes just to be cordial. I don't have to talk to everybody. I'm not the most social person. I only talk to the people that I'm interested in talking to. If I don't want to talk to you, I'm not trying to please you and placate to you. If I want to dress how I want to dress, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. If I'm going to wear a goddamn beater to a restaurant, I'm going to do that shit. I don't give a fuck. Because I don't care what people think about me. I don't, bro. I do not care. No more. And how I got to this point... Is because I found my principles. I found principles for myself. I developed principles that I live by. And that I cannot waver on. And anything outside of that will not deter me. So if somebody has an opinion of me, then I just go back to my principles. I'm like, that shit don't align. So I'm going to do me. I'm going to live by my morals and my principles. Because as a man, that's what I got to stand on. Also, you got to find your real self. You got to actually know who you are. The worst advice people give is, oh, just be yourself. How can you be yourself when you do not know yourself? You haven't done any self-discovery. You ain't never sat alone. You ain't never went into the darkness. You ain't never uncovered your shadow. You ain't honest with yourself. Get to know yourself, actually. Spend the time to get to know yourself so you can actually be yourself. Quit running from your true being. Quit trying to be what everybody else wants you to be. What you think everybody else wants you to show up as. You don't have to be that. That's not going to make you happy. You're going to live a life of quiet desperation. 
You're going to go out here, you're going to put on a mask, you're going to put on a front to please everybody else. But inside, you're going to be fucking dying. And I know because I was this person. Trying to please everybody. Trying to get everybody's good graces, everybody's good opinion. Nah, bro, I'm going to be me. And if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't, then it don't matter, bro. I don't care. Stop chasing and just attract. You got this needy energy all around you. That's why you keep attracting these low level situations. Keep attracting these low frequency people. You keep getting people that just use you up. Not everything, not everybody is going to be for you. You have your own opinions, your own views. Value that shit. Stand on it. Embody it. Part of knowing yourself is knowing masculinity. It's knowing what it means to be masculine. What it means to be a man. A real man. That's part of knowing yourself. Because that's part of who you are. A man. Where did you come from? What environment did you grow up in? What are your desires? What are your deepest, darkest secrets? Your deepest, darkest fantasies? Uncover all that shit. What are you against? What don't you like? Who don't you like? Where do you want to live? How do you want to live? Define yourself, bro. Find yourself and define yourself. And define yourself. Well, not find yourself. Discover yourself. And then define yourself. And now you can be yourself. And now you're not going to give a fuck what nobody else thinks. Because you're living in your truth. You're being honest. That's what's right. Nothing else is right or wrong. For real. If you're living in your truth and you are not hurting nobody, you are right. You can't go wrong. But you're going wrong when you're trying to manipulate people and you're trying to put on a front and you're changing yourself. You're putting on a mask to please people. That's some fucking bullshit. You're not living in truth. You're living in a lie. And the lie stops now. It stops today. The truth will set you free, bro. It will set you free. really just gotta realize that none of this shit really matters bro like you're gonna die you don't know when you're gonna die and you're gonna go back into the earth it's gonna be like you never existed and people are gonna forget you as ever here The same people that you was trying to please. They're not going to the grave with you, bro. They're not laying down in a casket with you. Are they? So why do you care what they think about you? When you got to lay down on your deathbed and you dying... And you reflecting back on your life. Your life flashes before you. What do you want to say? Do you want to say, I'm glad I please all these people by being fake. I'm glad that I put on this front so that all these people 
that don't really like the real me. They just like the front that I'm putting on so that I can please all these people. Or do you want to say, yo, bro, I lived a truthful life. I lived an honest life. I lived a life where I did what I wanted to do when I didn't go out here and hurt people. I lived life to the fullest. I was me unapologetically. I was me 100%. And I was an individual in this world. And even though I might not be remembered decades from now, I know I left my mark. I know that I did right. I know that I did my best. I didn't try to placate the people. The people that wasn't for me, they wasn't for me. And the people that was for me really loved the real me because I was real. It's Zen Hustler. No slave. I'm out.